All right, hey everybody. Um, we're cooking plantains tonight as part of the Thrive Diet, and this is what a plantain looks like. It looks kind of like a banana, but it doesn't taste like a banana, and you can't peel it like a banana, uh, and you wouldn't want to eat it raw. So what you need to do is cut it open this way, and get rid of that in the old compost heat. Uh, slice it into about one inch chunks like this. And then after that's done, it's going to be kind of a two-step process. What I have here is some coconut oil. looks like this, solid, at room temperature. I have that already going here. Uh, what you want to do is put the plantains into that oil first. Nothing too hard about that. Uh, just like this. And then that goes for a little while. And then what you want is about a minute or two on each side. They'll start to get a little bit brown on the bottom. And at that point, you would flip it over to the other side. And by the way, this is over medium heat. So once you do that and it's done on both sides, it should look kind of like this. And at that point, you would then... Actually, you know what? I was going to use this pan, but now I'm not. <laughs> um, what you would do is you want to smash these into these little funny-looking discs. And I believe then they're called tostones or something. And this isn't part of the recipe, but it's the way that I like to do plantains. So anyway, you use a can just like this. Smash them down till they're nice and round, and this is after they've cooled a little bit. And you get these little discs. So anyway, that's enough smashing, but you get these little discs like this. And then what you do with those is just put them back in the oil. And actually this is supposed to be a deep fried recipe, but uh, we're not going to do that for health reasons. And in this particular recipe, you then actually juice a little bit of lemon in here with them. And just put a little bit like that. And we let that saute for a little while. And then a little bit of sea salt also. And do that. Do it for another minute or two. Flip them over. Let them cook all the way through. And then eventually we're going to serve it on top of this salad. Alright, so that's my little cooking tip for the day. Um, until next time, this is No Meat Athlete.